Hello YouTube, today I'm gonna just explain features of Rocket Duck. It's a really cool program, helps me quite a lot just to arrange my stuff. Um, yeah, so we've got this, I've got my doc my computer, my documents, nice little time and the date and everything, recycle bin, control panel, and then it's got my other tabs. Um, we've got all my icons, all the programs that I use. Um, you can keep folders and everything on there. So let's just look at some of the options. Got icon settings, take a peek at that. Alright, okay, so you can change icons for it. Make your own icons and just upload them. Mm, just basically change the icons, change the name of the setting. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, just change that. Oh, well. Um, what else do we have? We have delete items, so say if I wanted to delete this now. Just right click it, delete item, and it's gone. Or what you could do, just drag it off and it poofs away, as you can say. Alright, so we've got dock settings. That's mainly what runs it. You've got language, English, Espanol, Xiaomi, Francais, Francais, um, ones I can't pronounce. And then we've got all these languages, a lot of languages to choose from. You should have your language. Um, yeah, so just minimize that. And you've got options, run at start up. So basically when you turn your PC on, it will just come straight up. Um, I don't generally use that. Um, this one, I don't really know what that means. This one, minimize windows to the dock, so if it's on your taskbar and you minimize it, it will just go straight to your dock like this. Um, I forget them, they're not really important. And you've got icon, settings, low quality, faster, average quality, and then high quality, slower. I keep them on low quality because then it goes faster. Then you can choose the opacity of them, you can kind of turn them down, look, can you see that? Changes. And then you've got size, uh, let's see that. Oh. Is that gonna let me change? No, but uh, oh, was it? oh wow, yeah, let's change it a bit. Uh, let's drag that back down. It's too big. Have that just nice and small, yeah. All right, so you've got a hover effect. Um, none. Just goes over them. You've got bubble. That looks pretty cool. Platter. Look the same as bubble, but okay. And we've got flat. Oh, that's big. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Um, got zoom. What does this do? Uh, yeah, so we've got the next position monitor one. So if you have two monitors, you can change that so it go whatever monitor you want. Screen position, bottom, top, left, right. I'll change that back to bottom. Layering, normal, always on top, always on bottom. Centering can move that about so you can have it to the corner or to the other corner or just in the middle is how I like it and you can move it up and down and up and down. Again I like it just snug at the bottom of my screen. You got style. Uh see what I've got. Uh Astro Glass, Astro Grey, Astro Iron, Astro Life, Astro Orange, all of these. That's pretty cool. Mac one, um, yeah, you can change your opacity of it again. So you can't even see it. You change it so it's always there, and you've got outline, opacity, um, fonts, shadow colors, outline colors, and then you've got behavior, and you've got Uber icon effects, bounce, um, and you've just got none. But anyway, you've got auto hide, which means when you come away from it, it just goes. And then um, you've got pop up on mouse over. And it's just got about um, version 1.3.5, punk software, copyright 2005 to 2007. Rocket Dock is developed by an Apple fanboy and fangirl of an operating system. Consider it a piece of offering from the Mac community to you. Um, enjoy. And you've got update forums, debug info, that kind of stuff. Alright, so let's see what else we have on here. We have, alright, basically got the same thing. It's lock icon, so just, oh, get rid of that, go back down. So, like, you can't accidentally drag them off or anything. And then we've got screen position, I've already showed you that, and auto hide. It's gone. And it's back again. 
Alright, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.